Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, and happy Sunday. Okay, yeah, only to chat rules. Please be over the age of 17 and please be kind to one another. And there we go. And oh, hello, everyone. Yeah, pop out chats. Okay, make that window the right size. As usual, talking myself through the steps so I don't mess it up. Hi, everybody. It's Sunday, and I'm here. And hopefully all of you are, too. Wow. I hardly turned around, and there's a bunch of you. Hello, Robin. Hello, Kenny. And welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your uh, message this week, Kenny. That meant a lot. Hi, Mona. Hi, Daryl Lynn. And um, <laughs> Kenny and I tried to chat an evening away or an afternoon away, but uh, we both of us had other things that we really needed to be doing. <laughs> She was the good one. She was the disciplined one who finally said, hey, I got to go somewhere. <laughs> um, how is everybody? And happy Sunday. And um, hello, Barb. Oh, my goodness. It's just wonderful. We're going to take this on a color twist today. Uh, I, I didn't want to be too per, super boring. Uh, you know, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Hang on, calming, calming myself down, having a sip of coffee. Ah, there we go. I didn't want to be super boring by bringing back a project for the third time. But it occurred to me that uh, <coughs> I sort of stuck myself with these, uh, these leaves behind the, the bird by making his head so colorful. And I wanted to... Uh, run by you guys the fix that I have thought of for it. And it involves yet a third uh, addition of some colors into our leaves, but I think I can make it work. Um, and so I wanted to, to show it to you guys. But uh, for the time being, let's just say hi to one another. And uh, I hope that you have all had a good week. Um, uh, and all of that good kind of good stuff. As you probably guessed, I did watch um, the inauguration of our 46th president live, and I uh, really enjoyed that and uh, the pomp and circumstance and the uh, especially the reading of that marvelous poem by um, the youth national. Well, actually, I guess she's the national poet laureate now, uh, Amanda Gorman. I know it's all over online, so if you haven't seen it, I can highly recommend it. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful poem about uh, unity and uh, coming together and, uh, you know, and, and basically, you know, the, the, the hope that the youth of America brings, uh, regardless of what side you are on in, in, politically, it's, it crosses all the boundaries it's just an amazing, uh, you know, it was just an amazing uh, moment in time. I truly believe that it is one that, like the MLK speech, uh, you know, I have a dream, we're going to be listening to uh, years and years from now. So it was just that awe-inspiring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, called, uh, it's called The Hill We Climb. And uh, her name is Amanda Gorman. And of course, any, if you if you uh, type her in, you will then be just inundated with all of the videos. Of course, she is a uh, you know a creature of of her time, and so there is just video of her from the time that she's a very young woman uh, overcoming a speech impediment. Uh, she couldn't say the letter R, uh, and there are videos of her reciting poems where you can see she's having trouble with R's. And then 
to hear the difference between where she was when she started and where she's gotten to with how you know with working on it is just it's it's a thing to behold and so yeah that poem is beautiful mona there is no i've listened to it i don't know probably 25 times uh you know overall i'm i'm fascinated by the cadence of it is really the you know and the the choice of the words and the flow and the way that it you know the way that it really the even the camera work even the guys who did the camera work and you know when especially when they at least uh, the version that i saw which was the one that pbs broadcast uh when they pull back and they actually show how little she is on this stage compared to that great vast area uh and you know all of those people out there sort of seated two at a time and then all the flags out there uh you know representing the people that couldn't be there uh you know because of the security and all of that it was just a a a, a bravo moment I, I guess a really bravo moment and uh made me made me real proud is is what it did and uh so I'll just I'll just say that's you know that was I thought any time that we inaugurate a president no matter what president no matter what side it's always a big event and uh, and this one was no different so anyway let's uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the week I've had a great week needless to say but uh, one of the most interesting things that happened is you know my uh, you know my neighbor uh, as brings me uh, food uh, <laughs> and he's he's just he's so funny about food and making sure that you know people especially uh, you know older people now keep in mind that to him I'm really old because he's like 25 and I'm not <laughs> but. Uh, I'm looking for my camera controls here so I can turn off my uh, my auto auto uh, focus so it stops doing that uh, throbbing thing. There we go. Uh, and so I, I had just fallen asleep the other night. It was 1.30 in the morning. I had heard my phone ding on that you know messenger, and I had sort of ignored it. And I'd gone to bed, and the next thing I know there's a ring on the doorbell. It's 1.36 a.m. And, you know, I did. I sort of grumbled a little bit as I'm like, who the hell rings a doorbell at 1.36 in the morning? And I opened the door and there he is with just bags and bags and bags full of groceries. Now, this was apparently a large donation that uh, was not able to be picked up. The rules say that once it's pulled from the shelves, it can't be put back. And a lot of it was perishable. So therefore it couldn't be, you know, there wasn't really enough time to redonate it and all of that. So he brought some of it over here and he took some of it home and he took some of it to his grandma and some to his mom and all that, you know, he's doing these one o'clock in the morning elf deliveries is really what he's doing. And, uh, so I, you know, bring, bring it all in the house. There is, there's meat to keep me in meat for at least two months. Uh, there's produce that I was able to, uh, the next couple of days, I was able to uh, flash freeze and put in bags and all of those kinds of things. So there's frozen vegetables and there's, uh, there was breads, uh, you know, hamburger buns, hot dog buns. Uh, there was even a package of Nathan's, uh, you know, the the all beef uh, Franks, <laughs> which I love. Uh, cereal crackers, soup, you name it, it's in there in the bags. Even butter and milk, butter and milk. I mean, it just uh, I, I I was just flabbergasted because of, yeah, flash freeze, Daryl Lynn. Uh, if you have Things like peppers or onions or uh, things that are, are fairly perishable, 
uh, you can flash freeze them. So what you do is you take your uh, like the the bell peppers. Uh, I there were green ones, red ones, uh, and white onions. And so I yes, this is Derwent Inktons, uh, Risa, uh, and that's what these are, and that's what we're working on. Uh, the uh, if you if you chop them up into bite-sized pieces or whatever, and then put them all in the open on a put a, a put you know like a a plastic sheet down on one of your cookie sheets and lay them all out so that they're flat, and then put them in the freezer and let them freeze for three or four hours, then take them out and you can stash them in a bag. And when you freeze them so that they're in a single layer like that, then when you bag them up, they won't all stick together. They won't all be stuck together in a clump. If you just put them in a bag and put them in the freezer, they'll all be stuck together and you'll have no choice but to thaw out the entire bag if you want to use some. But if you flash freeze them in, you know, like I flash froze all the greens and then all the reds and then I did the, the, uh, the, the, onions and then I could put them all together in a big giant bag and I rolled it like a uh, uh, like a, a cylinder you know like you would use for bingo <laughs> and that mixed them all together and voila I have a huge bag of peppers and onions which is one of the uh, things you know it's one of the, the vegetables that I buy at the store and so that's you know that's what flash for and you can do it with fruit you can do it with all kinds, you can do it with any kind of fruit. Uh, I did it the other day with uh, kiwi. You know, he brought like six kiwis over. I'm never going to eat six kiwis, not before they go bad. So I just cut them all up into pieces and flash froze them and put them in a bag. And, you know, so anyway. Uh, so that was, I mean, that was just amazing. All right. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is, you know, how I sort of struggled a little bit get down here on top of this uh, and see if I can't get some decent focus with maybe not quite so much blue light. Yes. Okay. So that's a little bit better. Uh, right there. Right there. Leave it alone, Christine. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to do was, uh, I'm going to use one of my micron pens, but really any black pen will do for this. Uh, rather than have these be that silver gel pen, I thought I'd go ahead and cover, color them in. I think I'll, I'll leave some of it. Now, the one thing you do have to do is be fairly careful because um, if, if you're going over gel pen, because the um, if you're using a micron, it's got a tube and the tube can get clogged up with your... Uh, with your the silver glitter. So I just want to, I'm going to just sort of bring in and then I want to do this part here. And leave the back of him sort of silver like a uh, like a bit of a highlight. And I think that's going to add a little bit to that. Uh oh, I realize that you can't really see that. My hand is in the way. But I think that's a, that's a little bit better. And I wish they were a little bit brighter red. But that gel pen, uh, red is a, a tough color to, to do in ink anyway. So I think that that's going to, that is going to be a little bit better at least. So they sort of look like, um, 
You remember to squash the like button early. Thank you, Daryl Lynn. I appreciate that. And we are coming to the Netherlands. Oh, how wonderful. That is so terrific, Carola. You'll get uh, like, like um, you'll have <laughs> like old home week. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, uh, and thank you, Melinda, for the uh, thumbs up request. I appreciate that so very, very much. All right, now, uh, all right, so this, this is what I was talking about when I was, you know, I have a couple of choices here. I could either come off of this with the blue and green uh, leaves, or I could come off of it with the yellow and orange. But the blue and green would be, I think, kind of boring. And the yellow and orange would be far, or the orange and, and sort of golden yellow would be way too close to the head. And you would lose that line of demarcation. So what I thought I would do is this. See how I did the yellow beak? And so I thought that I'm going to turn this page just so that I can uh, do this part of it. So I thought we would go ahead and do this part in the brighter yellow and then come down here to do a little bit of the sort of burnt orange just down here at the very, very bottom. And then I can use this uh, more sunshine. This is the golden yellow, I believe. So it's still kind of like this one, only it's going to be brighter and uh, and hopefully a little bit better. So yeah, as long as you're pulling from colors that you've already used, you can move them around uh, as, you know as opposed to, pulling in new colors. You can move them around uh, to your heart's content and see how that does. Yeah, see, so that way it doesn't really get lost. And I wouldn't want to do it on all of them, you know, just maybe a couple, like maybe pull this one back into, like I could use the yellow here on the top part of the leaf. And then because I'm down here and I'm down against the blue, I could use the more golden yellow or the, uh, yeah, the golden yellow, and then pull the burnt orange down into here. So just thinking out loud as I sort of go along I was I can't tell you how timely it was for Jamie to show up with that those groceries though because uh, I checked you know the, here in uh, we're, we're they're doing the COVID uh, relief checks thing and mine supposedly got mailed out on the sixth and it's still not here and they they end up mailing mine because I didn't file my 2018 tax return until uh, 2020 so because I really I didn't make any money so there wasn't really any I mean I didn't make enough to, to pay anything but the taxes that I'd already paid in and so I knew I wasn't getting any kind of a refund and 
So if you're not getting a refund, you don't actually have to file. Uh, but uh, as long as you can prove it. <laughs> so, but uh, so I ended up having it. So anyway, because it was late, they ended up with the check, sending a check instead of a direct deposit. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I you can't actually. Uh, check into it, have them check into it until the 24th of February. So that's like, you know, well, that does me no good right now. Uh, all right. So th those are those two. So now I can go into, I think I may go this one more. Uh, maybe do this down here. A little bit there. And then do the yellow, um, the brighter yellow or the, yeah, the golden yellow here. Try, just trying to watch. Uh, if there are any comments or questions that you guys might have for me, please put them in caps, and that way I'm much more likely to be able to pick them out from the general conversation. But otherwise, I encourage you all to just chat away and enjoy and tell me, are you working on something that you, uh, that you especially love right now? Your thumb is not happy to do it. Oh no. Are you having trouble with a thumb, Connie? That can be so painful when you color. Because you use your thumb for everything when you write. Sort of controls all kinds of stuff. Although, I, uh, I, you know, one of the channels that I really enjoy is, um, uh, gosh, and I, I hang on, Shada, Shada Campbell, and uh, she holds a pencil or a pen, a drawing pen, a paintbrush, whatever, uh, in the most interesting way. I've actually tried to hold it that way, and I can't do it. Um, it's, she's, she, it's like she puts it between other fingers and I get, I have absolutely no control and yet her control on it is beautiful. So I guess it's just something you learn when you're a kid or you compensate for. Oh, me too, Robin. The coloring book is just fantastic as well. We're working on a <clears throat> we're working on a picture in there. I haven't finished it yet, but it's there. Hopefully, we will. Okay, so if we do that yellow. You know what? I may just go ahead and do that entire one yellow, and then this one. Now you know what? I'm just going to do those three. Those three yellow. Yeah, we'll do those three yellow and then we'll pull the blues back out. And maybe do the iris blue. Let's see if I can get them right the first time. The peacock blue. The ho oh, oh, ho oh. spring green and the uh, let's see. Is this the right green? Oh, the field green. I did it. I did it. <laughs> if you've been if you've been with me the last few weeks, you know I have trouble finding the stuff. I am gonna roll this baby over. And you should never ever be afraid to roll your book so that you get uh, the best angle that you want on uh, what you're working on. 
I strongly encourage people to roll their work. And it also has the added advantage of putting it here on the left-hand side or in the lower side so that I'm not, uh, I'm not having to uh, put my hand down in uh, anything that I've done up here that's wet. So... Now, ink tense, of course, is ink pigment. <coughs> and, excuse me. Um, and so you can, uh, you could be a little sloppy with it because what you're going for is the water effect. And I don't, I guess I don't mean sloppy, but you know what I mean? You, you see what I'm, what I'm doing? I'm sort of, um, Just putting it, uh, putting hints of it, color. I'm not worrying about, uh, you know, coloring in a particular space. And you, until you get pretty good control over your uh, ink tents, you really don't want to um, lay down an awful lot of pigment. So, because a little bit of pigment in ink tents goes an awfully long way. Hi, Verica. Wow, it's nice to see everybody. Thank you for coming today. Okay, so I'm just oops, adding a little bit of, let's see, we'll add a little bit of that there. Grab some of that blue maybe. Bring it down off of there. A couple little spots here and there. Uh, it's just all about changing up the color of the leaves so that they are just a little more interesting I think to look at. Whoops. What did I do with my... They have an airplane going or a... Somehow or another, at certain times a year, my house uh, comes under the... Oh, thank you, Louise, and welcome, welcome. Um... Uh, my house is under the airport uh, exit, you know, or, or where, where they send the planes into the air. What, did, what is that called? The outbound flights? Outbound flights all end up going over the house. Now, Inktense does not bleed uh, even on uh, even on Amazon paper, it doesn't bleed um, unless you're using alcohol as the wetting medium. And did you know that you can use alcohol as the wetting medium with your ink tents? It doesn't have to be water. It can be alcohol. Uh, and I know that because... Um, uh, Morticia. Morticia actually put that to the test. Speaking of Morticia, I haven't heard from her in a while. I need to I need to write to her. Does anybody write to her regularly and know how she's doing? I'm assuming that more than some of you might know her. She's from Sweden. Okay. 
speaking about alcohol, you're drinking a beer now. Oh, that sounds good, Corolla. I have seen, Kathy, I, I, I saw her on Instagram not that long ago. Uh, I mean, certainly, certainly too long ago, but, uh, but, uh, but otherwise I haven't seen her. So I'm hoping that she's all right. She's always been in somewhat precarious health. So uh, it, it, you know, I, I should probably check on her. I should probably check on her. Okay. I've decided that I need to add a little bit of, I need to add a little bit of the, oops. Now I need to turn it again. So I'm taking on a slow turn, hopefully, so that we can get a little bit. And remember how I was saying how uh, after it's wet, or after it's been wet, sometimes it is best to just go with a dry pencil and not re-wet a particular spot. And I think that would have been one of the places that would have benefited from that. Too bad I didn't listen to my own advice. Okay. So now we can, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I like the way that looks. What do you think? Did I do okay uh, with that part? I don't think it looks too out of place. And when we get up here and I uh, and I've done those, I'm gonna turn you back around again. All this stuff just to get uh, some little little spaces. Uh, okay, so let's go with the green over here. We'll go with a little bit. Now this is the peacock blue. Right, I just want a little bit right around the edge of that dark part right there. And maybe a little bit here. Down in here. And then maybe so I'm going Fairly uh, hard pigment on the uh, stem part of it, or the you know the where the leaf vein is, and then lighter out here, and hopefully that will allow the uh, okay. so. That will allow the lighter green greens to show up. I do too, um, uh, Melinda. Thank you for that. Um, I do too. I like the contrast of the colors. Of course, I am all about um, bright colors. Uh, you know, definitely jewel tones. I have a really tough time seeing pastels because I don't particularly care for them. Uh, when it comes to home decor, I prefer blacks and browns and, and um, you know, things like Aztec patterns and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I, I, I once, when I was, I lived in the desert Southwest in uh, actually Palm Desert out in California, and uh, I let somebody talk me into getting Desert Southwest furniture, and, uh, you know, so it was all of these, these, you know, they, they, they were beautiful, um, pinks, light lavenders, uh, you know, this sort of pale blue, um, and I just, I, I just, 
hated it. <laughs> I just hated it. It was all too airy for me. <clears throat> well, hi, Libby. Nice to see you. Uh, ooh. Daryl Lynn, I would use a foam brush myself. You know, one of the uh, foam brushes that they make that uh, you can, they usually you can buy a whole bag of them for a dollar. Or, you know, they're like a buck a piece, something like that. That's what I would use, but somebody might have a better suggestion. Putting Mod Podge on something, what would you use, guys? Or an old cheap flat brush. There you go. I would try to use a brush that doesn't shed its bristles for sure. Because that is so difficult. Which is why I would probably use a, a, a foam brush. Are you working on diamond painting? Hi, Jill. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here today. I even dragged out my, uh, my, um, I looked down at my hands and I was like, oh my goodness, they are so dry. Of course, it's winter time. So I dragged out my, uh, uh, does anybody else use this? This corn huskers. I love this stuff. It's like the least expensive one in the store and it does the best job for me. So, um, and it smells so good. I remember that from when I was a kid. There was always a, always a, a bottle of corn huskers in the uh, medicine cabinet. Uh, lotion. Uh, Podge, podge, glue, brush it in water between uses. Ah, there you go. That's a good idea. Thanks, Jill. It's coming along. I can hardly wait until we get to um, a background. I'm still thinking pink puppy. Still thinking a pink puppy background, but I'm, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could definitely be wrong. Uh, let's see here. Let me bring blue. We'll go blue up here and maybe right there. Some green. Kind of up in there. Pull a little green there. Grab a little of the lighter green for right there. The bottom line here is, guys, you don't have to be, you know, you, you, you just sort of just change them up. And uh, regardless of what colors you're using, if you are, you know, if you prefer yours to be pastels, you can certainly do that. Uh, kind of think outside the box. And, of course, what made me want to do uh, you know, something like this are the covers of uh, coloring books like what uh, Nadia, not, Nadia uh, uh, oh, I have to look at it. Uh, uh, oh, I'm going to call her Villa Scova, but that's not it. Uh, what she did on the front of hers. Uh, do you know which which artist I mean? Uh, 
and she's the one that I did that that uh, that picture uh, the first time I used the Cali Art markers. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I just have so many coloring books. I want to color in for you guys these, or color in for you guys. In addition to, of course, uh, drawing my own. And by the way, yes, I have picked up paper and pen again. No, nothing is actually ready yet, but uh, it will be shortly. So that is progress right there. Just filling in my spaces. Uh, make some of these leaves yellow. Uh, you want some of these last two yellow, Mona? I can, sure. Uh, Yeah, I can. Absolutely. Uh, start down here. Why not? Why not? So this is the golden yellow right here. And we'll make the, uh, let's see. Golden yellow right there. And then we'll make the brighter yellow up in here. And in here, and then we will use a little bit of the peacock blue to pull in there, a little bit of the green for there. Okay, I see the BRB. <laughs> okay, ooh, speaking of, can I have a cup of coffee? Mm. Oh no, not sure how I turned my coffee off, but that's not a good thing. Okay. I'm trying to keep my hand out from under. Sorry, everybody. I know that annoys the heck out of me when uh, somebody's hand is in the way. I'm trying to see what they're doing. So, let's see if I can't make that better. Is that something about like what you had in mind, Mona? Uh, the ladybug is your logo on the back of your handmade cards and on IG. Oh, I love ladybugs too. And they come in so many colors. My goodness, I was surprised. 
absolutely surprised at how many. Throughout the world, So I hear tell there is a big storm coming my way. <clears throat> okay. Um, Moldy, wait. Oh, yeah, oh, brush of snow. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, I like that. I like that very much. And it also kills my wanting to go pink puppy now. That's good. <laughs> Um, I need a, we need a brighter, uh, we need a brighter color over here somewhere. And I'm thinking that maybe it is, I either need that or the Shiraz. This is the chili red. Let's see what we can do with the chili red. Not a lot. Just a little. See, when you're working on one part and then another part screams out at you to be tweaked. You know, just a little bit. Not, not a lot. but just a little. And I'm just adding in like little just little splotches of color. You know? <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing over here. What I did is I just picked out the brightest red that I could find in the set. I thought about the Shiraz, but the Shiraz is a little too purple. You know, it's a little too deep, sort of burgundy. I don't think it would give the same effect. There we go. Doesn't need to have, doesn't need to be <coughs> absolutely perfect, but. Excuse me. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Now, now my little, uh, my little dab sheet looks like, 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 like something something died on it okay uh all right now let's go with the uh i need to work a little bit on this branch and so we did that this will also save people from having to go back and watch any of the episodes to see what we did uh to see what we did earlier. Okay, wait. That's the willow. Sorry. That is the chocolate brown. That's the matter brown. No, I want the dark chocolate brown. Where is that? That's the tan. Okay, that's the willow. That's the tan. You know what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for the mustard. Hello, mustard. Where are you? There you are. Okay, and I want the dark chocolate. Where's the chocolate? There it is, right there. Okay, 
So we have the mustard. Now mustard is a bit of a, oops, can we still be some focus guys or am I, am I way off? I, I, it looks like it's focused. Okay. And so I'm going to sort of go center, centrist, center with the golden tone of the mustard. Okay. And then I do want to make sure that I leave because I've already established that the light is hitting these branches on one side. So I want to preserve that. And then we can take the tan, right? And sort of go a little bit down the center and we're gonna uh we're just sort of making a a, a line of we where we won't cross that uh, now i've got the willow which we're gonna use which is brown um a darker brown which i'm gonna fill that area in with that I just left. So everything on this side. And then we've got the dark chocolate, which we will then put on this side. Now we also have a little bird casting a shadow there. There's going to be a leaf casting a shadow there. And down this side also shadow casting. Oh, so I found a gem of a movie. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that I want, it's called, um, what's it called? It's called e uh, Evelyn, I think. Evelyn? Um, old movie. Pierce Brosnan uh, stars as uh, a, a Scottish father uh, fighting the... Uh, system in 1953 which apparently basically was with kids if you didn't have a mother in the house you didn't get to keep your kids so men weren't were, weren't basically allowed to keep their kids um and so he fought the uh you know he he of course he was his wife he was a widower his wife uh or no he wasn't a widower his wife left it that's it his wife left him, and uh, I mean, just because she had wanderlust, it wasn't like he was a bad person or anything. And uh, so the unable to really take that great a care of his kids, uh, he was forced to give them up. And then when he got his, you know, when he was able to take care of them, he wasn't able to get them back. And so it, 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 that's what the movie is about. And it um, basically his case was thought to be impossible. And uh, but he fought it all the way through the Supreme Court system and won, which restored father's rights um, in in the nation of, or in the country of Scotland. And so I thought that was so cool. So I marked it down as one of my 
gem finds of a free movie. I always like, uh, I like A, movies that are based upon real events, and B, movies where the underdog wins. <laughs> you know? Because after all, who doesn't like a good underdog winning story? I just love that he was able to, <laughs> I mean, there's some, there's some great scenes in there. I, I love Aiden Quinn's character in the, you know, in the movie, especially considering they're both fighting over the love interest of Juliana Margulies. And when it becomes clear that Pierce Brosnan's character is, has won her, uh, you know, he just does the gentlemanly thing and backs off. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And just like that, we have a sunlit branch. And I think it works quite nicely. Oh, oh. hey, everybody, we only have one leaf section left. Look. We're doing good, yeah? Oh, Yes, she did. Our Miss Kenny has worried us on more than one occasion, that's for sure. But I think she's doing better now. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me over the trash can. Let me pour the contents of the cold cup of coffee into the little heater cup of coffee and turn the volume up. I have to be very careful not to turn it up too much because otherwise it develops that kind of scummy thing on the top. Yeah, you are, you are, we're just very lucky to still have you with us, Kenny. I know how, been a close call there a few times. Uh, but whatever powers that be said, nope, you got to go back. <laughs> got to go back. We're not done with you yet. Okay, so now let's see. All right, this was, okay, that's what I, oh. All right, so I don't want to do that because, see, I sort of established the, the, excuse me, the flower leaves, and that was kind of dumb, wasn't it? I mean, there's really no reason for those flowers to have an entirely different kind of, except... We'll do that. See, now there's an occasion where I'm just going to leave that alone. That uh, I'm going to have to remember that it's there, and I probably won't, but when um, I put in a background, especially if I do anything that's got water, because the minute that that gets wet, it's going to activate. And so you do have to sort of keep that in mind. I'm going to come out of this. There we go. Come out of that, and then... We'll use the spring green, which is sort of an apple green. There is an apple green in this set and a spring green, and it, they're similar colors, but the apple is just a little bit more yellow. Okay. And now, one of the things about a, a water brush is that you... You learn, whoops, sorry. Uh, I, I, the edge of the book tapped my computer key and it put something else up on my screen. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I didn't think so. Uh, 
you learn exactly how much water it takes to keep the pressure up. And in this particular go, uh, I need to put, add a little bit of water. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, Melinda, thank you so much, honey, for being here today. You know how much I appreciate you uh, and all of that. I know you are my only mod, so everybody needs to behave. Uh <laughs> Uh, everybody needs to be hey. <laughs> and uh, not that anybody, I don't think that I have any trolls. So, and we won't, we won't even say that word. I've been very, very lucky. No trolls. Okay. Speaking of moderators, I've lost I've lost uh, uh, Shara into the world of living dolls. I uh, she is just she is hook, line, and sinker gone. <laughs> I you know how when you discover a new hobby and you're just kind of all into it. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Okay. Let me add, well, actually, I probably don't need it. I don't need to have water. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. All right, so let's, all right, so now we still need then. Okay, we can do that. Maybe this one is turning. So maybe we'll do a little bit of, Because I almost want to add some more yellow, you know. Living, oh my, Kathy, yeah. Uh, check out uh, share. Well, I don't actually have a link to it, but uh, all right. So what what it is is that artists make these dolls, and, and it's they're 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 baby dolls. Now they're they're. They're basically cloth and plastic, but they are, uh, they're hand painted and they are uber realistic and they are weighted, and I mean weighted, W E I G H T, to feel and to feel and look and be the size of a real live baby. But they're made of this soft plastic that is. It's hand sculpted and they're freaky. <laughs> they're, to me, to me, they kind of get my, they, you know, they're, 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 they're creepy. But that's not to say that they are to everybody. They are absolutely lifelike, though. And, uh, and these women buy them uh, and then interact with them. And there are entire swaths of, uh, you know, hobbyists who do this thing, and uh, and people either love it or they don't. Everybody has their own viewpoint on it. Uh, as long as what you know, for whatever reason, I, I thought originally that they were just you know they made them for the movies or whatever, but. Uh, yeah, the, I, yeah, I don't, I'm not, yes, exactly, Daryl Lynn, exactly. And, uh, you know, and so some people collect huge quantities of them, and Shara has turned into one of those. Now, she supposedly is also selling them off, you know, the ones that she fails to bond with, she sells off, and then you, you take them, to, you know, you you buy all of the standard sort of accoutrements for them, clothes and, and, and cradles and push, you know, I don't, uh, things like that. And then, you know, they take them out to the park and, you know, take pictures and do all of that kind of stuff. And, uh, and so she has just fallen all into this particular hobby and, uh, and, 
at last I had seen uh, there were like 18 of these uh, living dolls um, in her house. <laughs> and, uh, and so I don't expect I'll see her again for a while. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's been very difficult for her to, uh, to uh, color because uh, her thumb is, you know, she's got, she's already had, a, of course, she had a stroke, so we're, she doesn't have good use of her right hand, and she taught herself to color with her left hand. But the uh, the thumb is uh, needs surgery, and so and she can't be without use of both hands. So the, you know, there you get that hole stuck between a rock and a hard place kind of thing. So you got to do the thing. You got to stop doing the thing that's irritating the thumb, which in this particular case is color. So and then you add on top of it uh, that. You know, that with COVID-19, she hasn't been able to travel and see those beautiful grandbabies in uh, New Zealand. So, and then there's another one on the way. Uh, there's a, a, a new grandbaby on the way. So it's like, oh my goodness. So, of course, you know. <laughs> it's... Yeah, we. Well, I think I, I. I think we've lost her at least for a while. I suspect that, uh, like you know, like everything else, uh, when you, I, I know that when I, I mean, look at all of us. Look at all of us with our coloring supplies. So there isn't one of us that could throw a stone. <laughs> we better not throw stones, <laughs> because that's so true. I mean, how many of us have to have every pencil and every, you know every coloring book and every uh you know try every medium and all of that kind of stuff so there's we 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 absolutely cannot throw stones <laughs> and there are more than plenty of people that think our hobby is weird <laughs> right Uh, her, uh, uh, Kathy, uh, Shara's channel is Reborn Living Dolls. Reborn Living Dolls. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of yellows here and maybe a couple here Okay, and then all the rest will be green, and the green and blue ones. Um, okay, so this is the golden yellow, and I shouldn't, I, I didn't mean to make it sound like I disapproved. I don't disapprove. I just miss my friend. <laughs> I miss my friend. Of course, I did the same thing when I, you know, jewelry supplies Back in the day, I, you know, there, I had to have everything. So I bought the, you know, I bought the, the torch and the glass blower and the, this, that, and the other thing. And, you know. Hi, Nanimo. Don't have internet, so still not my, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm so glad that you stopped in to say hi. I can hardly wait until they get you that uh, 
till they're able to get your uh, Wi-Fi in. And uh, Nammo just moved into a new flat, so she's been waiting for some of her services to uh, to come online. I love that. It always sounds so posh. You know, I moved into a flat. <laughs> As opposed to here in America, we call it an apartment. Uh I like flat much better. It sounds easier to say, too. Okay, and now let's grab a... Oops, that's the iris blue. Okay, there's the peacock blue. Grab a bit of that one. All right, so now... It does sound posh. <laughs> there are just some words that are like that. I, it's like, I love the way the Brits say aluminum. I mean, here in America, we say aluminum, but there they say aluminum. And it's the adding of that extra, I mean, it's an entirely extra syllable, which uh, I just, I think is just adorable. <laughs> Okay, so that's the blue, and I added uh, this time. <coughs> sorry, I added just a little bit of the uh, iris blue. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the iris blue because it's just such a pretty shade over here. And now, uh, let's see here. Peacock under here. That's going to be a nice contrast against that yellow. <coughs> lush yes exactly how they use the word lush there are so many things I, I well I've said it before that I worked with a, a, a young woman I used to love her story Part of it, part of it was her name was Janine, and uh, she had originally come to Reno, Nevada, uh, as a dancer in the uh, Hello Hollywood Hello uh, review uh, at the MGM Grand, and so she was here on a work permit from the UK, and then uh, when it came time to uh, go home, she didn't want to go, so she ended up staying. But the only way that she can overstay her visa like that as if she were married. So one of her, uh, one of the people that was in the show, who was an American citizen, agreed to marry her. And so they got married. And it was, I mean, it, they were, they were in fact, uh, you know, sort of dating, but they weren't, they weren't serious. They weren't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, a, we're madly in love, we're going to get married type of thing. And, uh, but it became that, and so they and they're still married to this day. Uh, it it just it became that, and I just think that is just the coolest story uh, because I just do. But man, her accent—I am telling you what. People would, I, there were, real estate agents used to come to her just to be able to sit to talk and sit and talk with her. They used to bring up their business to her uh, because it's just, it was, it's just so pleasant to listen to for an American, you know, 
to to listen to a, a really what it is. Beside, of course, the fact that it is a beautiful lilt, uh, it is it's it's hearing English spoken properly. <laughs> At least that's always that's always been my take on it. Uh, without because usually it's not got an awful lot of slang in it uh, yeah I, I I have a problem with the fact that they look so realistic but they're lifeless uh, So yeah, I, I, I it, <laughs> yeah, I'd say I have, I have an issue with that. Uh, but to each his own, you know, to each his own. There are some people who think that coloring stamps is weird, or you know, that collecting stamps is weird, or that, uh, you know, that. Uh, I mean, what's the deal with collecting political buttons or, uh, you know, those, those types of things? For every like that somebody has, you can find somebody else who thinks it's weird, so. Or who assigns maybe the, you know, the wrong idea. It's really easy to, at least it is, I think, to, you know, assign, let's like, you know, people, it, we color. So people say that, you know, we're reliving our childhoods or whatever. Well, maybe, maybe we just like the art. Maybe we just appreciate uh, creating something beautiful, you know? And it's got nothing to do with being a kid. Because I didn't color when I was a kid. I was too busy playing office with my mother's junk mail and you know stuff like that. Those were those were my games that I loved. I had a whole closet full of toys, but uh, you know, or you know, dolls and all of that. And the game that I loved was playing office with all my mother's, you know, any any mail that that she would throw away in the trash, envelopes. Uh, you know, unopened, whatever, junk mail. I would gather it all up and play office with it. All my important papers. To this day, I can't throw papers away. Yeah, exactly, Louise. <laughs> I agree. I, I'd love to play office. I, used, <clears throat> I love that. I loved Monopoly. I was relentless. <laughs> I was going to own it all. <laughs> Every square on the board, I had to own it. Uh... Toy telephone, pencil, old note, exactly, exactly, me too. Uh, which made my uh, study desk very handy as well as I got older, you know, because it was already set up with all sorts of an in-basket and an out-basket and, you know, the finished work, homework. I'd come home from school and I'd toss my 
all my homework and my in basket to do. And then I'd go, you know, have a snack and sit down and, and do my work. <laughs> Make a game right out of it. And then on the weekends, I was an archaeologist. So I would go explore the hills and dig things up and dig through the dig through the, the uh, banks of the creek and do all that kind of stuff. So there we go with that. Now we can add, uh, we need to add some, add some shade to that. Okay. And let's see, uh, where is my, uh, what I want is the, that's the mustard, that's not what I want. There it is. Is that it? That's the burnt orange. Yes. There. Okay, and the, okay, the, whoops, there it is. That's the one I want. <laughs> The one in my hand, Christine. The one in your hand. There we go. And let me. Oh, that's the iris blue. I've got too many of them out again. Oops. Sorry. Uh, there we go. There's the. Where are we? Okay, there's the blue. A little bit of the blue. The field green. Okay. And there we go. So then we can make. Oh, that's the iris. Don't want the iris. Want the there it is, the peacock green, the peacock blue. Yes, that's it. Right there. Good Lord, how's it already three thirty? That is just not fair. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Pause the train. Well, no, wait, don't pause the train. That would involve too much of a squeaking noise. Uh, okay, let's see. Wait, where is the... There it is. There it is. The spring green. Yes. Okay, so now we want the spring green here. This side. Okay, and the blue. So I want the peacock blue over here. And then the iris blue over there. And then field green 
running up the center. Yes. So let's see how those two look. I'm trying to work quickly, but not go so fast that I mess it up. Okay, so we want to start with the centers and dabbing off. <clears throat> okay. Dab off a little. So I'm dabbing off as I transition between my lighter and darker colors uh, to help minimize the amount of discoloration that I get as I'm blending uh, to try and make the blend smoother. That's what I mean. Okay. Okay. And... Reading a book that, oh boy, uh, <laughs> which one? Which one, Jill? Mona, isn't it just the best? It's just, I am, you know, when you read, when you read for pleasure, the world is literally at your fingertips. And, uh, and there is no place you can't go. And man, there is just a ton of resources that are available for reading material. I know that a lot of us don't like to read on the computer, but uh, the, you know, the Internet Archive is an amazing place for older books, you know, books that are out of print. But you don't have to buy them and you don't have to wait for them to down, you know, rent or, or anything like that. But I could it could be just about anything. I actually had a chance to argue with Robert Reich, who most of you may uh, know is the well he was uh, under Bill Clinton he was the finance uh, head of the head of finance something like that uh, economic advisor I don't know what he was he had a title <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, but we argued the uh, uh, whether or not uh, Ayn Rand uh, intended our book. He maintains that she was against the public good, and uh, I took the opposite opinion that uh, she, of course, was for the public good, and so. <laughs> I just, I love that. Told me about a free reading site called EPUB. Huh. Okay, I'm not familiar with that one, but it's cool. Kindle Fire, and that way you can use text to speech and listen to books that you review. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, Robin is definitely our big reader in the in the in the group. Well she she has read a lot of books.
I just haven't taken the time to read as much recently. It used to be that I would go to Barnes and Noble and and uh, you know just buy a stack of books off the bargain show, you know, bargain table, uh, and you know, and just have reading materials for uh, for months. But uh, between COVID and of course my at present uh, financial situation, which yay, hopefully will change in just hard to believe February, March, April, May, three months, three months. All I have to do is hold out three more months. Surely I can hold out three more months, right? Uh, so my social security kicks in <laughs> and then I won't be a starving artist. I'll be a, I'll be a fully functioning, able to pay my bills artist. Yahoo. Okay. And all right, so now do a little peacock blue down in here and kind of deal with some of these shadows. Maybe there, there, and there. And we'll grab the green. Yeah, I will grab a little bit of the more yellowy green. Okay. Anything you can read on, yes. I, uh, my, of course, my biggest problem with reading on the screen is, is that if I do it, my, uh, my vision for anything else is sort of blown for the day. So if I'm going to read on the screen, I've got to pick a day when that's all I need to do, you know. Because otherwise it won't, for some reason, it just gets stuck there. It won't adjust back to, you know, to a wider angle. which then would make driving impossible or anything else, really. Oh, look, and you can see the little pieces of the tree that I missed. See, sometimes you don't see that stuff until you, you know, get, you can, then spot all the places that you missed. Like right in there where I've missed the, the, uh, let's see, go with tan, because that's kind of a dark spot. All right, and then we'll go with uh, the chocolate because it also is a dark spot. And we'll go with the chocolate right there. Okay. My sinuses have chosen now to decide to clog up. Of course. Oops. Okay. Oh, one more leaf section. One more leaf section. You want to plant with leaves like these? <laughs> with the blue screen, I got a pair from the dollar store. Uh, yeah, you know, I actually have a pair of those. Uh, now, they do help when I drive. 
I will admit, they do help when I drive. I have not tried them in the house. <coughs> but I should. I should try it. Yes, I can do it. Especially considering that this one is all blues. I don't have to think about yellows. Uh, so uh, let's get rid of the yellows so we can get rid of the confusion. We'll get rid of that orange as well because we don't need the burnt orange. Uh, I don't need the browns. Uh, 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 a dark chocolate. No, I don't need any of the browns. So hang on, let me putting those away. There we go. Okay. So now all I have left in my hand are the blues and the greens. So let's, oops, go. so let's come down here and we will forget that I, <laughs> that I ah, okay, as I'm dumping it on my lap. <laughs> Originally, I wasn't going to do all of them <coughs> with a little bit of blue, right? Remember that? <laughs> it sort of morphed. It took on a life of its own. All right, so now, yeah, we're going to change this back. We're going to change this back over. i got to push that out of the way. There we go. That's better. That gives me a little truer idea of what I want for it. Okay, so now I want the lighter blue there. Gotcha. Okay, the lighter blue there, the lighter blue there, and the lighter blue there. The rest of it is green. So, green there. Uh, ooh. Green there. Dark green there. Sorry, guys, I've hit the zone there. And there is a little more dark green. Uh, they have spent, uh, okay. Just trying to, okay. Thank you, um, Louise. It, uh, all I can tell you is, is that it just sort of jumped out at me that they needed to be that color. <laughs> In my brain, they, my brain just said, those leaves need some blue in them. And uh, it was uh, also, it was just so that my, uh, my little painted bunching would, he, he, does, he, he is kind of lost in here now, but he's more of a, a surprise than a, uh, He's a happy surprise. Okay. And it just sort of gives testament to the fact that you don't have to be super neat. You just... To be creative, you know, it's it's not 
Sometimes it's not about execution. Sometimes it's about color choices and, uh, you know, and, and, and just having fun with it. Just, you know, have fun. There are no, once again, there are no rules in coloring, guys. I cannot say that often enough. There are no rules. Uh, if you want colors that contrast with each other, you can make that beautiful. We've proven that over and over again by those 80 marker challenges where we just yank them out of a bag and uh, and yet used in a, a pattern type effect, they are just, uh, they're remarkable. So it doesn't matter if you don't choose the right colors or whatever. It Every, you know, every picture has a story to tell. Every, if you are happy with it, if you are not happy with it, it's all part of your story. And that is the, it's the story of the book, the story of the, of how you felt while you were doing it. You know, that feeling that you get when something is really coming together and, you're like really happy with how you're doing it. Uh, there's the, oh, and the only person, if you make a mistake, chances are the only person who knows it's there is you. <laughs> Case in, when the church failed to get decorated when I got married, the only person who knew that was me. It was a beautiful church. It just didn't have my decorations up. Oh, well. <laughs> not my pew bows, not my, uh, you know, not the candles that I bought for the candelabra, but they were beautiful candles anyway. And the only person who knew that there weren't pew bows was me. <laughs> All right, we did it. Yay. Ho, ho. All right, guys, I am now taking direction on the background. What do you think we should do? Uh, let's see where we go with autofocus. <laughs> Get rid of autofocus. Get rid of focus, focus. Hopefully it's in focus. Wipe and put a Q-tip outside and it works. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think it would if not Mod Podge. Wait, I do too, actually. I, 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 I kind of, I actually kind of want a puffy pink background, although it scares the heck out of me. Uh, almost, here's what I'm thinking. And this, and, and it's not, and, and I don't mean a puffy pink background, but this is what I mean. Uh, all right, this Where's, where is it over? All right. You see this? Yeah, this is what I want. This is the... Uh, but how it presents as almost pink. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. Maybe a very, very pastel pink. I think maybe a very, very pastel pink would be the, the ticket. A very pastel pink. Uh, pink, maybe. Uh, <laughs> it was a two parter. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, I would never. Wait. 
All right, I'll I'll find it, Daryl. <laughs> I'll find it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now I could also uh, do something along the lines of. Hang on, just a second. Let me uh, let me uh, because I'm about to wiggle myself right out of my chair. So let me. We got about six minutes left. Me uh, be right the right back. Okay, I'm waiting for my hands to dry. Ugh. All right, I want to add a little bit of and see if I can find it because uh, I don't know what I did with it. Uh, wait, there they are. Okay. <laughs> my my pins, my beautiful, beautiful pins. All right, let's go with the green one. Well, it's not really green, it's more blue. But let's, oh, I can't really see these. Uh, let's do this. Did I mention how much I love these pens? <laughs> these are the Pentel hybrids. There it just there just is no better. There is no better glitter gel pen than this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'll bring it back to show it to you. It's just one of those little finishing touches that it just really needs. Oops. Sure. And can focus. It doesn't, uh, I have to hold it up so that I can see the lines.
Okay. So, <laughs> you can actually, you can actually see that or not. Ah. I don't know how to get the angle right so that you can see it. But it works. Yeah, yes, it, it works. Uh, and it was definitely one of those those things that needed doing. Um, and, oh, that was the other thing, is, is that we need to add a little bit. To the once again, not all of them and not everyone, but sort of bring it in conformity with the other one. I like the fact that um, the, uh, the addition of just that little extra bump of the red in there, I think that that was a good idea. Um, so we've learned that, I learned that, that, um, that I wanted just a little bit more of that color. Okay, so now we've got just a little bit more of the, so it matches the other one. Oh, love that. And thank you so very much, Kenny. Uh, and my, my precious pants. <laughs> they really are. They're like they're like little gold, little bits of gold. Um, I always know where those pens are too, which is funny. You know, they they're one of the supplies that I never allows, never allow them to get misplaced in any way. Uh, I always know right where they are at. Um, and they do add just a, they just add a little bit of zhuzh. And uh, I like, I see, I just, I love that little bit of zhuzh. Uh, I don't know. Mm. I don't, I'm hoping that that is sort of in focus. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm. I just think I'm gonna have to this background though, because we I worked way too hard on this to mess it up now. So Connie, what do you think? Do you do you have a, if you were gonna do this, what would be your idea for the background? And because I've seen some absolutely stunning backgrounds, and I'll have to. I'll have to think of one. Obviously, you know, I, I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Do you have any ideas? I, I didn't know if maybe you did or not. I'm going to, I think Kathy, was it, Kathy, was it you that agreed with me? I think it was. I'm going to go back and look. Uh, over the, or no, it was Louise uh, that, that agreed with me over the, the possibly doing the pink one. Pencil and an eraser. Oh, pastel and then an er and eraser. Ah. That's interesting. Okay. That's one of those words, Christine. Sushi. Shush. Oh, shush. What's one of those words, Christine? Shush. Uh, good choice, Connie. Yeah, I actually that is that is a good choice. Um, you mean like uh, like uh, light yellow? Okay. Um, so like a pastel color and an eraser to sort of erase out um, uh, spots or, or around something. Lab okay, we've got a lavender. Uh, 
I don't know. Well, we're, I guess, actually, you know, Barb, that's a really good idea. Photocopy your picture and then try different back, different colors to use on an original. All right. And I do. I actually, uh, Kenny, I have several colors. Um, I was, I have, uh, I have all of these, which is, this one is, the, this one is the, the um, uh, what is this one? This one is the grays and the, uh, okay. But I also have, yes, I, I have all the primary colors. And then I also have, uh, hang on. Uh, the answer to the question is yes. I do have some, not uh, not a huge amount, but enough to certainly enough to, to be able to do something with this. Uh, I have I have the blues, I have the blues and the purples. We did that, and then I have the um, the the sort of um, the the primary color set. Yeah, so I have the blues and the purple, the blue, the purple, and the green uh, seven set that they did. And then I have like a nine set of the uh, nine set. Yeah, I think it's not nine um, or maybe 12. I don't know. It's the one of the standard sets. And then I also have that, uh, the grays and the whites and the, uh, you know, the, the past, or not pastels, but the uh, neutrals, thank you, neutrals. <laughs> All right, we're going to think about it. In the meantime, it is 4.06. I am over probably somebody's time, uh, but I was a little late getting started. So very soft, light muted color. Yes, I do. I agree as well. A very soft. I was thinking, I was thinking the pinks. I'm still thinking, leaning hard on the pigs um, with maybe, I, I very much like that with the, you know, with the idea of uh, maybe even uh, pink and silver. How about like pink and a light gray to represent silver somewhere in the background? Uh, oh, pearlescent powders rubbed on with cloth. Interesting. Now that's an interesting choice. Jill, I'm going to take that under advisement uh, because I do have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearl essence colors here. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to think about that. Look at that. There's a pearlescent right there mixed with a copious amount of uh, the white. That would be a beautiful finish. Okay. We shall see. And look. Oh, look. Wait. Wait. There is the interference lavender right there. Oh, that would be an absolutely terrific color. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and no one else is on. <coughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'm still going off. <laughs> Only because I have <coughs> I have committed some afternoon time to another project. But um, I do want to say to everybody who joined me today, thank you so very, very much. Note that other than right there at the very beginning where I said how nice it was to have about the inauguration, we did not talk about politics, <laughs> nor will we. Uh, and I apologize to any who, uh, who, who, who found that part of my uh, last several streams uh, to be unappealing. And uh, uh, trust me, it won't happen again. And uh, until we meet again... What are we all going to do? Hopefully, please. <laughs> Tell her something pretty. And hopefully, 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 have it be in something that I drew. <laughs> uh, or Jane, or uh, Flora, or uh, Maria, 
or uh, 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 any of any of the other artists that you know and love. Uh, bye, everybody. Thanks for being here. See you next Sunday. Look for very possibly a midweek stream, or a, not a midweek stream, but at least a midweek video. See you then. Bye.